Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to do a little stem. This one's it's gonna be um, more like this one. Um, we can talk in live class about you know, making it longer, it's basically the same thing. I can even probably wind up talking about that now. Um, and we'll do, um, well, let's just do the stem and then the, the, this bottom detail right now. And I like to keep these videos short, so we'll do leaf in the next one. So I'm just gonna take some brown wool. You can do this with green, you can do this with orange, you can make your stem, whatever you like. I'm gonna take, I'm keeping this small for now, so I'm some more brown wool. Um, you can blend this with other, I'm probably gonna give you a few shades of brown, a few shades of green, but um, for now I'm just gonna do this one color. Keep this kind of small, but I'm gonna roll this into a log. Okay, can you see this? And this is going, yes. <laughs> Um, this, this is the kind of thing where you're more prone to poke yourself. So just be really careful. I'm going to hold this and I'm going to put your finger protectors on. I'm going to hold this, um, either end with my fingers to start and just poke in between and be really careful. If I poke, if the angle, even if my fingers are away, if I poke on the wrong angle, I'm going to still poke my finger. So while you're doing this, make sure you're poking straight down. I don't want to go too long on that because I don't want this to be flat. I'm making this round, so I'm going to pick it up, and once it's holding together, I can roll it like this and keep poking and rolling it to keep that round. Now, so um, in case you haven't done other classes with me, one of these ends of the stem is going to get attached, and we always leave the any place where we're going to use to attach. I like to leave the wool loose. It's much easier to make a nice attachment. The other side of this one, I could, if I, so if you made this longer and then, you know, I'll just show you real quick. If I rolled the end, I can make that pointy part, but I want, I'm gonna make this one like more like the cut stem. I think um, this one's probably gonna get turned into a jack-o'-lantern later on. And I just feel like the, this maybe a little short stem is better for the jack-o'-lantern. So. Um, it's the same technique for making it longer. And I can show you how to make it curly. These have wires. I'm probably gonna give you some pipe cleaners and, and teach you how to do curls with pipe cleaners. And I'm also gonna show you, I don't know how much of this will be in videos and how much will be in the Zoom, but um, there's other ways to, I'm gonna give you natural curls like these but then see, sometimes they get, like this one, they sometimes get frizzy and ruined, and I'm gonna show you how to um, re like recurl them. <laughs> Make them nice and tight, nice, nice tight curls again. Okay, so this stem, I'm gonna do this for a while, and I'm being really careful with my fingers. Still, when you're working with something this small, you're much more prone to hurting yourself. So you see I'm flattening this, I'm flattening this end by poking more just straight down into it. And I want this to get, you can also roll it in your fingers like this, do a little bit of, that helps to tighten it up. If, if, uh, if this is looking too skinny at some point, you can, you can flatten it up again. I'm just going to show you that. See right here it got a little skinny, so I'm going to put a little, another layer of wool wrapped around. And poke that in again. And like I said, you could be mixing colors. This one looks like I mixed a few colors and I did it mostly green. This one is has browns and greens in it. And I'm just gonna do for this demonstration, brown stems and green leaves. And okay, so, um, I would do that a little longer, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to, and I hope this may not sh be showing up that well. Hmm. I wonder if I should attach this to a different pumpkin. Um, anyway, hopefully you can see this, but what I'm gonna do, what's nice about this, um, sometimes you want to like attach it in a way that would be really nice and neat. You actually want to be making these, can you see on, the, on top of this one, like this, I went into the grooves with the, the top of the stem. So what's nice is that I'm gonna just pull a little bit of wool down 
into that groove right there. Poke that down and then keep doing that around around the base of the stem. Just get this to go, make kind of the starburst shape at the base of the stem. Pull little bits of wool into, let me see, I'm gonna just emphasize this, this irregular shape for you right now. So I'm gonna, it gives it a nice base for attachment and that nice natural shape so that even if you don't do, like when we do jack-o'-lanterns, you may not wanna, um, put any leaves or stems on here. You might want to just really focus on the face. Um, so you want that stem to be interesting. And you could, you could emphasize this more. I could add more wool and put some little bits of green or um, do whatever you'd like to. I'm just gonna do this kind of randomly. <laughs> but I also want you to make sure that this is really attached. And I like to go, if, if I were to go in like this all around the center, the stem would get really skinny right there at the bottom. So I, I want you to poke straight down into the bottom because then it won't get skinnier right there at the base. All right, let me just end it up. I have some darker brown Let's see. Nope, let's just have that light brown. Okay, so that's the stem and then what you wanna do on the bottom is just do the same sort of thing, except that you're just making that, um, I don't know what you even call that, but I'm gonna do the same shape, but without the stem. So I poke a little bit of wool into each, into each um, groove. And make again this like irregular starburst kind of shape. Okay, and it really can be like very irregular. It's okay if it like goes much further up one section than another. I'm hoping this shows on the video because I'm realizing these colors are not contrasting quite as much as I would like. I'm just gonna, for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna do that again with the screen because I think it'll show up better. And I'll probably rip it off. Um, I'm just gonna put a little piece of wool down here. And again, just Poke some into that groove and then into the next groove. Try not to drag the wool with the needle, just place it there and then poke. And then you wanna poke kinda, um, kinda into the center between the grooves because you want that star shape and not just a circle on the bottom. Okay, so I'm just poking. But this doesn't have to be perfect at all. It's more going to look more natural, more pumpkin-y if it's a little irregular. So I'm not being as careful and precise about my lines as I typically would. And I'm just going to poke in all over the center. That's what's nice about the pumpkin as a beginner project and just about a fun seasonal project as you can not worry about being a perfectionist with this. And just they come out really festive and adorable anyway. Um, all right, so that's that's how we do that. This we got the stem and the bottom, and um, next video will be a leaf. 